Question 7. Mrs. Smith gave her students a history test. The bar chart shows information about the students' marks. Part A. Write down the number of students who got 10 marks. So this is the 10 marks here. How many students? 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's worth 1 mark. Part B. Write down the mode. So the mode is the most common mark. So 4 people got 10, 3 people got 11, 12 people got 2, 5 people got 13, and only 3 people got 14. So the most common mark was 13, not 5. So the mode mark was 13. And that's also worth 1 mark. Part C. Which two marks have the same frequency? 11 and 14 both had three people who got these marks. So 11 and 14 have the same frequency. And that's worth one mark. Part D. Work out the range. The highest mark was 14, the lowest mark was 10, so therefore 14 subtract 10 is 4. And that's worth 2 marks, 1 for the calculation and 1 for the answer. Part E. How many students did the test? Well, there's 4 people here, there's 3 people here, two, uh, five people who got 13 marks and three people who got 14 marks. So how many people did the test? Four add three is seven, add two is nine, add five is 14, add another three is 17. So 17 is the final answer. Now that's also worth two marks. And the first one is for adding at least four correct heights out of five. Okay, so adding four correct heights out of five is enough to get you the first mark. The second mark comes from the final answer of 17. And that's it for question 7, part A, B, C, D and E.